Hello, welcome to the end of the episode of Legend of the Death Eater, and here we are with uh, Solitol Slytherin, and so we continue our journey. So, in the last episode, we are uh, accepted into Hogwarts, and now uh, we are going to continue with the main quest story, so You're that uh, we can, you know, unlock more spells. Uh, at some point of the story, we're going to get our Death Eater spells, which are actually the three forbidden spells that uh, none of the students or non-students, even the Aurors, are forbidden to cast, actually. So, um, but we are going to, because we are going to become a Death Eater. And so, okay, I think, I think the game... Um, I'm going to decrease the volume of the game a little bit more so like I don't want to be overshadowed by the game wise and prior to our last video I would like to inform you that I'm not going to watch any of the cinematics if you like like um I, there are a lot of other streamers videos about what the cinematics are and so it will be quite easy for you to Maybe actually I'll find them if you want to watch or if you haven't played the game already but I now think let's try something a little larger i think it's a little let bit us of begin waste with of time. a basic cast okay see how the dummy deflected your cast this time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. Good. Well done. Very good, but the best way to prep. Levioso. Levioso. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm. Here they go. All of my students for Levioso. The point of the magic deal is to leave the opponent out of the ring so I don't actually need to kill anyone. Not bad for a beginner. So this pal is put you uh, going to be our best friend and so, because we are going to learn all of our all uh, dark right. mission cast spells from him, Class is Sebastian. Nice work. So I just want to keep the conversation civilized with him. I Okay, 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 just skip. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. I don't care. Till next time. And now, uh, that's just that's supposed to uh, unlock some quest for us. Oh, okay, so now uh, Sebastian asked us to join the dueling club of Hogwarts. So, like, we're going to meet with the dueling club and we're going to deal with the other students. Uh, it's the normal difficulty. I don't want to keep the gameplay very long with the battles because uh, if you play with the hard difficulty, you need to absolutely be careful during the fights. And, like, you need to brew potions and stuff, which actually is when I, if I just told about it. It is the whole purpose of the game. Okay, never mind. I don't want to either way. I'm going to feel like a fucking death either. Nothing's going to be hard for me because of my faith on my lord. Glad you can make it. And just here is one of the puzzles that you can solve. Okay, here is the dueling club. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's okay, just skip. I'm flat. All right, so, all right. So, of course, he's asking Defense. if uh, we are tough enough to join Get their the petty ring. club. Spectacular! So, I think we are, in my opinion, at least. We'll make you regret signing. A right, dear. Of course we are. So... Also, you can uh, nullify spells. The, the, not the spells, the shields. 
With this, with stupefy. Stupefy also break the baby cost their shields. Akio. And if you wanna keep your opponents busy, keep them on the air. Akio, Levioso, they all work like a charm. Pity more people can't watch the duels. Right. Nice work. I Of course he wasn't. Hope to see you back here again. Um at some point we're going to win this dueling companionship championship, whatever it is. But well, until the moment, okay, we need to go Weasley after class. So Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom, which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard, located between the Library Annex and the Astron Astronomy Wing. Hopefully she has word on replacing my lost supplies. So, uh, I think this is where we're going to visit Hogsmeade, hopefully. Um, okay, I'm gonna teleport to here. Um, because if you remember at the beginning of the game, uh, the famous Professor Thick told us that we are working on wonders with a borrowed wand. So our wand is not ours, so it's not actually uh, serving us the way a wand meant to serve its wizard. So um, we are now going to buy ourselves a wand. So we can just simply be it through that. What about the up. room, Professor? I trust your first class is well. See, have you and Pro okay, okay, okay. Pro okay, man. Come on, I come on, come on, come on. Let's go with Natalia. Because um, taking Sebastian with you, sorry, taking Sebastian with you here in this point um, is not neat. Because um, later, ah, there you are. It's, it lets you, you skip have a new spell one of to teach the me, uh, little quests, and, and then the you get your Death Eater spells even late. So collect the flying page Rebellion. and the broken statue, which is just over up. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Field guide page. So, like, uh, if you're low crazy, um, basically I am actually. I really like uh, Harry Potter lore. Uh, oh no, it was here. I was just. This is the right area. So, like, uh, if you're low crazy, you can just follow up this field pages. guide pages. It's just extremely yes, good in terms of story. But, like, um, for me, I already know many things that is on the pages. So, Akio. okay. Got it. Okay, one of them is here. And let's see where the other one is. A flying page must be around here somewhere. And. Rebellion! Not that one. Here. Brilliant. And this is the final page, so we're going to go to the Professor Ronan, deliver the pages. So he's going to teach us something I very the cool and I completed the assignment. So, Remember, Reparo your wand is a conduit of your magic. Um, this is one of the coolest spell in the entire wizarding world for me. Because how it shapes everything back together, like I, I'm really, really fond of this spell. That's like, it. Let Very me good. demonstrate. If you would like, like to practice you see, something, and in the game, with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Thank it you. Allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Thank you. So, uh they really made a great job and the animation of the spell because as you can see the 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 statue is in scatters so when i cast a spell on it it will just uh, you know turn back to its original form and look and watch around the pieces how they get together it's just like in the movie prepare nicely done 
Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> See? It's like, it's not slow, dramatically slow. It's just very fast, smooth, and it just looks marvelous. I really like it. <clears throat> Oh, hello, Mr. Catching. I'm really glad that you're here. Um, so far, you're my only follower because, okay, I'm a very, very brand new channel. Uh, like, it's just, my it channel is just be as difficult as it seems. Hello. two days old. If I have the time. And you're my only active follower. Luma, so I really like you. That spot must really be a like clue. You. you always I yeah, look around in case it's a stream, which feels very good actually. Yeah, it really makes me feel I'm on a good start. I really like it. And as you can see, I was working on my American accent. Um, I'm trying my best. To pronounce this R. looks like the location <laughs> from the <laughs> and uh, let's my, get you back my to your previous uh, videos. I have told you that I am actually a Turkish <laughs> person, which my native language language is actually Turkish. That empty frame. And so, um, this is very hard to keep the conversation with me in American accent because uh, time to time Honora, it just makes me I solved the mystery of that painting. Confused. So she was wondering about what's the story between the the frame without any pictures inside. Oh no, the frame's not. So the frame without the pictures inside, and uh, she was like asking for help. What's the mystery? But actually, it was not a frame without pictures. Uh, it was a black mirror, and when you cast a spell on it, it showed where the missing piece is. So. Uh, since moths are attracted to light, you need to look at the picture inside the frame, and so like um, you need to figure out where its moth is, and you need to cast Lumos to lure the moth. Hello, looking for me? Yes. That. So and then that way. You put the moth back and the mystery is solved. But normally, um, if I was caring, <laughs> I wouldn't tell her how to solve this grand mystery. And she calls me rude. How rude of her. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Me too. Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I really like her. She's oh, so I cannot so tell nice. you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Oh yeah, she she was the daughter of one of the professors. Of Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. <laughs> of course. There's oh wait, over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Like, um, the stereotype that there is no cold weather in Africa. Because she's coming from, from Africa. From the forbidden forest. Like there are very People cold graves. days in Africa. And I wonder if something like startled them. It might be I heard rumors that cold. hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh, because, like, um, uh, I've been in Tunisia and uh, I've seen very cold days. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah. 
There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Um, Hogsmeade. I would spend all of my time it exploring really, if I could. really, beautiful town. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Okay, why am I having FPS drops? How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Yeah. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mm. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Uh, he's one of the favorite there. person of mine. Hello, Mr. Game. Moon. Have you met like he gives here? zero fucks about Pleasure. anything. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything <gasps> all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, demigods. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. This quest line is horrible. I think you'll he see too much when fun time in the village. comes. You'll I will see say him. that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Rebellion. Keep that in mind. Thank um, you. Like, I might use some modes to skip some of the petty work, because I'm very lazy about those. I have done them like hundreds of times. So and I, here I we are. So much, so I hope it is hard to know where to start. The three broomsticks is the place for butter. It just, it just looks and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Okay. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes. A new one. Of course. You will. Ah, yes, a new one. Um, Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Uh, forming a new wand is also extremely important because I am obsessed with wands. And a wand, especially um, Bellatrix Lestrange, she uses like the, the one that is actually a little crooked. And when she holds it, uh, it certainly looks like a witch's wand, which I think is extremely cool. So, like, I need to. Okay. Revelio. It's a little bit of foggy here. <laughs> a little too foggy. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. Alright, the typical I'll be right um, with. Harry Potter scenes oh. that uh, I try different ones and. This one chooses me. So, uh, let's see what kind of. No, I don't want this one. Uh, what type? Okay, I can Curious just. Indeed. Uh, it doesn't change the look of it. Um, I think black thorn would be nice. Um, How intriguing! I want it. Unyielding, yes. Like a willpower. Okay. I, but I just wanted to change the color. Okay, here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Curious indeed. <clears throat> this one looks quite. Why can't I just change the wheel? Oh no, look at this one. It's just the way a Death Eater would have. But I wish it was white. Like, whiter. But this. I think I'm gonna go with this one because um, I want my wand a little white to symbolize the skull 
that should happen on a Death Eater's, you know, arm. So I just like it because you can also use some handlers and so it looks quite nice. A Dragon, a dragon Heartstring. Heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Okay, I will go with Dragon and you make the purchase. What do you think? Uh, I think it is wonderful. Now, it looks incredible. Thank you. Okay, so we got our wand. Now, what we need to do is get some scrolls, which was supposed to be next door. Okay, here. Uh, these scrolls are for conjuring some of the furnitures for our, um, let's say, dorm room. <laughs> because we need to grow some plants for potions but if you play carefully you can find a lot of uh, healing of potions we can have potions all around the world uh, with battles like monsters drop them like what we crazy have, we? so in most of my if playthroughs I Feel do not take a look around for the rest Sorry. of my inventory most of my playthroughs I do not even brew potions because I don't need them I, all the time, even um, I got the warning says that uh, you are at the maximum capacity of potions because, as I said, a lot of monsters drop them, they don't need to be humanoid all the time. Sometimes, even spiders and trolls and the other like uh, sea creatures, stuff like that, like they all drop it. So, all you need to do is loot places carefully because, um, Welcome if you to like the rebellion, say. Some people just don't like brewing potions, alchemy. It just doesn't feel um, fun for me. Like I'm, I don't know. It doesn't me, feel sir. fun for me. How dare! While I was playing Skyrim, I was also very far what away from do for you alchemy today? as well. But um, feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Just work. Or Come back another time if you're like in, in many boss fights i didn't even use any of the potions i don't know why but i just don't like using them it just feels like i'm losing a huge like deal of fun it just makes everything easier and even though i'm very lazy i'm just well, lazy well, about uh, you know the huh? chores i just don't like um doing redundant things and stuff but when it comes to fight i don't like easy fights like Pardon if i'm me, just sir. going I'm to kill something seat. with just one blow it doesn't make any sense oh, to the why am i new fifth year <laughs> i take it that's merlin babe Nick? okay let me guess you're after something fresh do have a look around Plenty of ingredients to pick your Use interest the seed way, to craft the healing potion, vegan wealth potion, which well, is one of everything. the most important potions you will have in this game. But as I mentioned, they are being dropped from many creatures around by. And uh, as you know, this is an open world game, so you don't have to just follow all the quest lines and stuff. Like time to time, you will be just wandering around in the wilderness, in the forbidden forest. Uh, you are going to visit nearby villages, and shows that like um, it will be very easy for you to get those loads. Ah. I'm not gonna skip this one. Attacking a town full Lord of wizards. Away from the building! Away from the village! It's not. It's not very smart, actually. I don't know why. I have some first drops. Like, I need to figure this out. Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot to dodge. I said I use Protego. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm so I'm so shitty of a player. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wear him down! One of the health bars is 
occupy on the this this one. Can I use this? What yeah. was that? Forgot. I was trying to beat the design game. Ancient power is like it. Do more of it. Because now I don't have any spells to fight with it. Okay, I, I can't throw him anything else. Shit. Shit. I can't believe I'm basing a troll with barrels. Just leave me alone. At least I don't have a stamina bar. Okay. Okay, that was intense for me. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer, and thank you again. Okay, so we're going to repair uh, the town. Oh, hello there. A moment Look how beautiful it is! Oh my god, I really, really like this magic. There. It's just so wonderful. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Repairer. Here is another one. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, like, my students also do that, don't worry. Uh, like when my students create a mess, I always make them clean Rebellion. it. Like I never call the you know personnel Repel. and ask them to clean everything. Simply, I just tell my students to clean their mess. So like uh, people are not here to clean unnecessary messes. They are here to help us organize our institution. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. Okay, I, I know I what's like going to happen. He's going to offer us something for free. Plenty of your perusal today. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Thank you. Like, like, as if it is not the exact same thing that I'm wearing. Oh, look, how wonderful change it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir, that I will never buy anything from. What an extraordinary introduction. Yeah, that's actually that was actually a quite extraordinary introduction to who's me. Should you be inclined? Um, most welcome to I can sell my shop at your now. Um one of the most uh disturbing things in the game is the inventory capacity because um you'll often see that your inventory is not um like actually is not actually that large so you need to keep everything organized and often sell things you can actually increase your uh, capacity by selling things what's that oh these are my f these are from my packages can i match can i have a matching outfit you can increase your inventory capacity wow <laughs> that looks so fancy 
Oh my god, I keep interrupting myself. You can, <laughs> sorry, you can uh, organize your inventory capacity by uh, performing Merlin trials, which we will actually have as a tutorial in a minute. But um, they are very bothersome, scattered around the world, and take so much time, and just, just they just make me feel bored. So, let's go. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Oh, like, this is the only transgender character in the game. The owner of the, the bar. I can't remember the name. Three broomsticks, yes, this one. <laughs> Like, basically a pub for visit sandwiches. Okay, so... I need to talk with her outside. Uh, here, some ruffians uh, had some t uh, plight with us. And the transgender witch... Why am I saying transgender witch? I'm so rude. I didn't mean transgender witch. I mean the owner of the bar. Oh my god, I'm going to get, get so much hate. I'm I, I didn't mean that. Terrific. I did that. And that she isn't intimidated. Okay, I'm not... Like, some ruffians are actually, uh, like, uh, they attacked us, so, uh, she interfered, and she protected us. So, now we're turning back to our common room. Uh, I think it will be enough for today's video. Let's see you some another day, and, um, let's continue our journey. Uh, I hope we can achieve our goals soon enough to, like, I, w I really want to be a Death Eater, and the uh, most needed spell for a Death Eater is Avada Kedavra, and uh, I need to first earn the first two forbidden spells to get Avada Kedavra, so um, hopefully the gameplay will be sufficient enough to get that. So thank you for watching me, and uh, I would be completely delighted if you could just uh, follow up me on YouTube, on Twitch. So, by the way, thank you, Mr. Catching, for watching me <laughs> all by yourself. I'm completely uh, admired by you, Resolute. Thank you very much, and have an extremely good day.